The year is 2024. The Judgment Day is dominating the WWE. Dominic Mysterio picked up his first United States Championship by defeating Logan Paul at WrestleMania 40. On the same night, Damian Priest would cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase following CM Punk winning the World Heavyweight Championship against Seth Freakin' Rollins. Priest would pin Punk and become the new world champion to close out night one of WrestleMania. Throughout the next few months, Dominic would have some differences with Judgment Day leader Damian Priest as he feels Damian does not want him to succeed in his singles career and wants him to focus only on Judgment Day endeavours. At Money in the Bank, Priest would cost Dominic his title rematch against Logan Paul as a punishment for his lack of Judgment Day loyalty. Members of the Judgment Day would not appreciate the actions of Damian Priest. Despite these rising signs of disarray within the Judgment Day, tensions would seem to cool as the group proceeded to feud with CM Punk, who was out for vengeance against Damian Priest. At SummerSlam, Damian Priest would defend his world title against CM Punk in a no holds barred match. Priest would hit his signature South of Heaven finisher on the stage, but before he could make the cover, Dominic Mysterio would low blow Priest before CM Punk hit a GTS to win the match, reclaiming his World Heavyweight Championship. CM Punk would stand tall alongside the Judgment Day before being presented with a Judgment Day t-shirt officially crowning him as the World Heavyweight Champion and the leader of the Judgment Day. After CM Punk's heel turn, Punk would credit Dominic Mysterio for masterminding the plot to overthrow Damien Priest and for presenting him with the idea to take control of the group. Following SummerSlam, Damien Priest would undergo a first turn. His reason for costing Dominic his US title was because he was fed up of Dom's whining and cowardly ways and felt the Judgment Day needed a new direction. Priest would set his sights on retribution against Mysterio and the Judgment Day, which would culminate at Survivor Series war games. A team of CM Punk, Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor and JD McDonough would clash against Damian Priest, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre and the returning Bad Bunny. Despite a valiant effort, Priest's team would lose the match and the Judgment Day would stand tall. With the Royal Rumble drawing near, it was announced by Triple H that this year's Rumble match will not reward the winner with a main event at WrestleMania, but instead the winner will be the World Heavyweight Champion. Dominic's role at the Rumble would be to work with his Judgment Day family to ensure that CM Punk walks out of the match retaining his world title. Dominic would enter the Royal Rumble match and last over 40 minutes until he was eliminated by Johnny Gargano. Despite his elimination, Punk would go on to successfully retain his title, last eliminating Cody Rhodes. Over the next few months, Dominic would feud with Johnny Gargano. Rhea Ripley would get involved, attacking Candice LeRae, which raised the stakes and made the feud personal. With such animosity between the two pairs, General Manager of Raw, Adam Pearce, took this opportunity to announce the return of the WWE Mixed Match Challenge. Dom and Rhea would progress swiftly throughout the tournament. At WrestleMania 41, Dominic Mysterio would team with Rhea Ripley to take on Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae in the final of the Mixed Match Challenge tournament. Dom and Rhea would win the match and the tournament. With the Money in the Bank ladder match approaching, Dominic would take part in the men's qualifying matches, in which he was successful by defeating Brutus Creed. At the Money in the Bank PLE, Dominic would face Seth Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Julius Creed, Sami Zayn, Drew McIntyre, Bron Breaker and Carmelo Hayes. Seizing an opportunity in the match, Dirty Dom would pull off a miracle by winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. As the year reached its end, Dominic would start to assert himself more within the Judgment Day faction. His in-ring work improved substantially, and fans started to appreciate him as a solid worker. Tensions began to escalate between Judgment Day leader CM Punk and Dominic Mysterio. Punk is aware of Dom's improved in-ring ability and popularity. At the 2026 Royal Rumble, Judgment Day member Finn Balor would win the Royal Rumble match, which would mark the second year in a row that a Judgment Day member would win the Rumble. CM Punk, anxious with the threat of a Judgment Day mutiny, either from Money in the Bank holder Dominic Mysterio, or from Rumble winner Finn Balor, who needed to decide which title he would challenge for at WrestleMania 42. Over the next couple of months, Punk's fear of losing the title would get so bad that he would hire Gallows and Anderson as his backup. Ultimately, Balor would choose to face CM Punk at WrestleMania 42 for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
The match would not only decide who was the World Heavyweight Champion, but would also mark the end of the Judgment Day forever. Judgment Day was truly upon us. At WrestleMania, Balor and Punk were clash in an all-time classic. The match was full of back and forth moments, near falls and high spots. With both men down in the ring, Dominic Mysterio would cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Despite his cash in, Finn Balor would ultimately walk out the victor, pinning Dom almost 10 years after his first major world title in the WWE. Following WrestleMania, the Judgment Day would be no more. CM Punk would go on a short term hiatus to heal his injuries, whilst new World Heavyweight Champion Finn Balor would be a face once again and a main eventer on the Raw brand. Despite the end of the Judgment Day, Dominic and Rhea would be traded to SmackDown in the WWE Draft. And on SmackDown, he would once again challenge for the United States Championship. At the SummerSlam PLE, Dominic would win the United States Championship for the second time in his career after pinning Carmelo Hayes. Dom would continue to defend the belt for the remainder of the year, retaining the belt against the likes of Damon Kemp, Cameron Grimes and Ricochet. At the Royal Rumble PLE, Dominic would face his father, Rey Mysterio, with his United States Championship on the line. Dom would finally lose his US title after holding the belt for nearly six months. Following the Rumble, Rey would announce that over the next couple of months he would embark on his farewell tour. He would continue to defend the US Championship until he loses the belt, and when he does, his career will be over. Throughout the tour, Dominic would continuously try to cost Rey his matches, but somehow Rey managed to survive the odds, as he is of course the biggest underdog. Rey would survive all the way until WrestleMania 43. Dominic, with such confidence, would not only challenge Rey to a match at WrestleMania 43 that had the US title and Rey's career on the line, but he also put his own career on the line as he knows he can defeat his father. At WrestleMania, the two would have an all-time classic encounter with impressive wrestling sequences, springboard moves to the outside and a 619 from Rey to his son. Ultimately, Dominic would win the match, therefore ending Rey's career. After the match, Rhea Ripley would beat down Rey Mysterio, laughing in his face as his career ended. Dominic would initially let Rhea attack Rey, but you could see he felt sorry for his dad. Overcome with emotions, Dominic would step in front of Rhea, protecting his dad from the attack. Rhea would retreat furiously from the ring. The Mysterios would stand tall as Rhea looked out upon the crowd one more time. After WrestleMania, Dominic's face turn was in motion. He was free of Rhea Ripley's control and was set on continuing his father's legacy. Despite losing his US title to Joe Gacy at SummerSlam, Dom's momentum would continue. He would spend the remainder of the year climbing the ladder on SmackDown. As 2028 arrived, Dom's destiny was approaching. With serious momentum and fanfare behind him, he would enter the Royal Rumble match. Entering at number one like his father back in 2006, Dom would outlast 29 other men, winning the Rumble by last eliminating Bron Breaker. Also, on the same night, his former Judgment Day leader CM Punk would defeat Cody Rhodes for the WWE Universal Championship. Therefore, the match was set for WrestleMania 44, Dominic Mysterio vs CM Punk. The build-up for WrestleMania was incredibly personal, with Punk stating that Dominic will never be the better Mysterio. Knowing he won't win a war of words with CM Punk, Dom would do his talking in the ring. It all comes down to this, the showcase of the Immortals, WrestleMania 44. Dominic would start the match with uncontrollable aggression, inflicting as much pain to Punk as possible. Punk's veteran instincts would take play as he used the ringside area to his advantage. Punk would continue his ringside assault with a GTS. Dominic would fly off the top rope with a huge dive and splash through the table. Dominic would continue his momentum in the ring, landing a three amigos and a GTS, but Punk would kick out at two. Punk would turn the tides once again, landing a shining wizard and bulldog combination, and locking in the anaconda vice. Dom would manage to escape, but the damage may have already been done. Punk would try to hit a GTS, but Dominic reversed it into his own GTS. Instead of going for the cover, Dom would pay tribute to his father with a 619 and West Coast Pop to win the match, winning his first world title in the WWE. And that was my attempt at booking the next 5 years of Dominic Mysterio's WWE career, 
Whose career do you want to see in the next episode? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.